Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Today is Saturday, June 4th. Currently it's 63 degrees. High today is going to be 80, a little warmer. Uh, no chance of rain. I, I really need some rain for my garden. 75% uh, humidity right now. No wind. Hi kitty. What you doing? Mm hmm? Sit down or something. Uh, no wind. Uh, air quality is 43. That's in the good range. What did you do to this? You stepped on my tablet. Okay. Today, there's going to be a big Aldi haul. Our monthly. Where we get the most of our stuff. You know, first of the month. We have to go back to get some things. You know, but... At least we're not running back and forth to the store all the time. Uh, but I have the, the big haul today. Definitely check it out. Um, and we had, we went to Walmart yesterday. So that'll be out. I think I got something. I think tomorrow I haven't asked my tablet. So it'll be, let's see tomorrow Sunday. So Monday, I think it'll be when the Walmart haul comes out, the, the biggest haul. Uh, but last night, you know, when we went, we got a pizza. And at first, we got one of the Sam's Choice ones and because it had stuffed crust. But it was 7 bucks. And I was like, Joy, that's, that's a little high. You know, you going to lay down? You going to lay down? Okay. Just laying don't, don't scratch at the tomatoes. She's like laying her head on the tomatoes, but she was trying to move it around. Trying to get it comfortable. She lays on the funniest things. Uh, and you know, we, we were, I looked at the, uh, the great value ones. They're cheaper. They're 317, I think is something like that, which was, I thought was really cheap, but, um, then I saw, I remembered uh, on my my uh, group on Facebook, one of my groups, Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. I also have Gardening with Friends and Color Me Happy Club. But um, <coughs> I saw the Palermos, it's, I guess I'm pronouncing it right, Palermos, uh, that someone had posted on the group. Uh, and said it was fantastic and it looked so good. So I got the uh, Supreme one and we was, too, we was too tired. I mean, I had done the haul also and put everything up and we were all over Walmart. You don't have to walk everywhere back and forth if you need stuff for Kitty, if you need something. I got some suet and then have to walk all the way back over to produce, then all over the store, you know, and uh, so um we didn't have any salad we just i just and i didn't even feel like fixing it up and i we, i looked at it joy got it out i looked at it and i said you know what i don't think that needs anything on it it looks like it has enough cheese to me you know that's usually a problem there's not enough cheese and i have to add cheese i said just put it in there like it is and uh, let's see how it is and it was it was fantastic. It was one of the best frozen pizzas I've had. I really like the sauce. Lots of times there's not enough sauce on frozen pizzas. But uh, here's how it looked, y'all. Look at that. Looks like one of the ones I make at home. Homemade one almost. But it was, it was really, really good. I was going to save a piece for lunch today. And I enjoy even wrapped it up. And then I said, you know what? I want that piece. <laughs> So, I ate, I ate all mine. Usually, I just eat two pieces and save one for the next, the next day. But, ended up eating it. So, it was just really, I really uh, recommend those pizzas. It was, and it was four ninety eight, But, it was well worth it. It was as good, to me, it was as good as a, uh, one you order from a pizza place. Uh, so, I was really happily surprised all of us were. We all loved it. So last night we were supposed to have Philly steaks. I didn't feel like fixing anything and standing in front of the hot stove. Um, 
So we'll have the Philly steaks tonight and the fries. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I highly recommend that pizza. Um, we're we're going to get another one. Uh, what, the thing is, I almost wish we had bought two of them because we don't want to go back to Crow, uh, Walmart. It's a little further away than everything else. We're trying to conserve our gas. So, I don't know. I, I kind of doubt we'll go back and get one, but we're going to get another one uh, whenever we go back. Because um, they were, it was fantastic. Okay, let's see here. I slept a little late this morning. I was just so tired. Uh, from the shopping and putting it up and everything. And yesterday, it's not quite as bad. I guess the weather changed and now it's warmer again. But when it got rainy and stuff and cooler, it made my arthritis act up and I was sore all over. But uh, still sore. I got my usual aches and pains, but it's not as bad as it was. Okay, today's tidbits, everybody. I'll try to see if I pronounce this right. Cicadas? Is that how you say these? Cicadas? Emerge in D.C. areas, temperatures rise. And we've had these here uh, lots of times. As the soil temperature in Washington, D.C. reached 64, it triggered the emergence of brood X cicadas. Experts said the insects are emerging a year later. They have previously appeared as many as four years early or two years late. Trillions of cicadas arrived in May 2021, but other periodical cicadas are popping up in the eastern states recently. They're the ones that make the noise. NASA releases details of Artemis 1 surviving lightning strike. NASA has released new details about the mega moon rocket Artemis 1 surviving a lightning strike on April 2, 2022 in Florida. The space agency said one of the bolts was positively charged, more powerful than the usual cloud to ground strike, but despite the bolts Tremendous energy, the Space Launch System rocket escaped without damage. <laughs> and what was that movie we saw uh, last night? Uh, oh, Lord, I want to uh, tell you all about that. Hold on. Yeah, we got a movie from Redbox while we were at Walmart. And it was called, or is called, Moonfall. It has Haley Berry. I guess that's how you pronounce her first name. And um, I can't remember the other guy's name. He's been in other things. I can't remember what his name is. It's in it. But you will you might recognize the other guy that's in it um, also. Um, at one of those movies called, he's in some scary ones, Insidious or something like that. And I can't remember what they're all called. But anyway, this is a good movie. Lots of action in it. Lots of great special effects. So if you get a chance to uh, rent that, if you like science fiction movies, uh, I think you'll really like that. So anyway, the uh, only thing about Redbox is you got to take it back. You know, the next day we didn't really plan on going out, but there's one that's uh, at CVS down here, and it's about a seven, eight minute round trip there so it's not far away it's just having to go back out you know we didn't plan to okay uh tsunami warnings warning sirens wrongly sounded on kenai peninsula tsunami warning sirens were incorrectly sounded thursday in many communities in the kenai peninsula on the south in the coast of south central alaska the sirens were sounded in Seward, Homer, and Kodiak. The U.S. National Tsunami Warning Center tweeted that it was aware of an erroneous tsunami warning. The National Weather Service is investigating the incident. Well, wouldn't somebody have to actually press a button or something for that? that the, and the fact that they're uh, investigating? Why would somebody do a false, you know, it's like a... Uh, fire alarm 
you know, who, why are you going to pull the fire alarm when there's no fire? But I hope they catch whoever did that because that caused a lot of people grief, I'm sure. I'm, you know, had to. Senior Living Center loses appeal over woman's death in cold. The Michigan Supreme Court has reinstated a lawsuit against... Now, how did it, they lose their appeal when it says they reinstated a lawsuit against a senior living center where an 89-year-old woman, Virginia Kermath, was locked out in cold weather? She was wearing only a nightgown when she apparently walked out a side door in December 2013 and spent 14 minutes outdoors. Hypothermia and frostbite contributed to her eventual death. How is that losing if they say they reinstated a lawsuit? I don't know. I hope they win, though. Beartooth Highway remains closed due to weekend snowfall, and some places in the country are getting snow still. Due to the significant spring snowfall that fell over the Memorial Day weekend, the Beartooth Highway between Red Lodge and Cook City in Montana has been closed for nearly a week. Snow as deep as six foot is covering the road, and it might be some time before crews can clear the path. More precipitation is expected here over the coming days. Wow, six foot. She's just taking a nap here, aren't you, Kitty? You taking a nap? Yes. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. Uh... Dog breaks into house, snuggles with couple during storm. <laughs> I don't know if this is a dog, but maybe they took a picture of it. <laughs> Laying on a pillow. <laughs> Recently, Julie and Jimmy Johnson, a southeast Tennessee couple, were surprised to find a strange dog snuggling with them in bed on a stormy night. They realize that Nayla must be lost and broke into their house to seek comfort due to this thunderstorm. The Johnsons posted about the incident on Facebook and were soon contacted by Nala's owners. <laughs> Experts warn clouds could disappear forever from Earth. Can you imagine a sky without clouds ever? This, this uh, climate change is a mess. It just shows some clouds. University of California, Irvine, expect experts say clouds could disappear from the earth forever due to climate change. Models based on computer algorithms show that low clouds could dry up and shrink or could thicken and be more reflective due to CO2 emissions. The results were published in the Journal of Advances in Modeling Earth Systems. Uh, don't let rain stop you from grilling outdoors. Here's how. Want to have a tasty barbecue on a rainy day? Here are some tips to grill outdoors even when it rains. Keep the lid open to a minimum as you don't want rainwater dripping on the food. Use an umbrella while you lift the lid to lay food. Make the grill a little hotter than usual as the temperatures outside will be chilly due to the rain. I've actually done that before, you know. I cooked out when it rains, I just put the top down, you know. It, it's like a smoker and, and still worked you know there's nothing worse though when you 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 have a whole thing planned where you're growing out you start and then all of a sudden it starts raining and this is interesting <laughs> rats wearing backpacks to be sent into earthquake debris see a rat with a little backpack on it <laughs> <coughs> Rats are being trained to be sent into earthquake debris wearing tiny backpacks fitted with microphones. The purpose of this project is to help rescue teams communicate with survivors during earthquakes. The rodents will soon be sent to earthquake-prone Turkey where they will get the chance to work in the field with a search and rescue team. I wonder if you'd think, we'd be like, am I going crazy? That's rat. That rat's talking to me. Okay. Crews rescue man from vehicle swept away by floods in Texas. You know, what? Uh, don't go out. <laughs> don't go out when it's flooding. Uh, 
Fire and rescue crews in Arlington, Texas, pulled a man out of a vehicle who was swept away by flash flooding on Friday night. Crews found the submerged vehicle when they went for a search near Webb Farrell Road and Hanaron Avenue. The victim was rescued and immediately transported to a hospital whose condition is unknown. I've talked about that a lot. Just stay home when it's bad out. It's not worth it. Oh, I see the pizza again. I could about eat that for breakfast. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it for today's tidbits, and that's going to be it, it for this morning's coffee break. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Kitty was like, what are you ringing that bell for? I'm trying to take a nap here with my, my tomato pillow. <laughs> She's laying her head on the tomatoes. <laughs> oh, Lord, everybody. Okay, everybody, later on, look out for that big Aldi haul and check out my short. We went back yesterday on the way to Walmart, like I said, they had, um, it was it was worse than it was when we were there the other day, but they must have had some storage bags in the back. Some of them were damaged. I had to tape it up. Uh, they were all smashed, but my, the one we got wasn't smashed, but the ends were, like, had come apart. And so I put tape on it. You know, when we got home, it was fine. There was none missing out of it. Uh, but they were still out of everything that they were out of, and then some. And um, we ended up getting paper towels there, but then they, they ended up being more expensive than Walmart. And I was like, what? You know, I made a mistake on that. I, I won't forget that. Um, you don't expect Aldi to be more expensive than Walmart. So um, I, did a, I didn't want to do a whole walkthrough. We were, we were in a hurry to get to Walmart because it was, excuse me, we decided to go kind of late. Uh, so we couldn't, you know, take a lot of time at Aldi. And, uh, you gonna get up now? And, um, I did a short, uh, of the chicken section in the freezer. Hi. You wanna say hi to everybody? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, check it out, it's empty. I mean, there's a couple things in there, oddball things, but it's stuff that I guess nobody cares it much for uh empty and uh I, you know, I wished i'd had time to walk around the whole place and show y'all what uh, pathetic shape it, it's in i don't know what's going on with them they must not have got a uh, delivery you know uh, I, I don't know it, it makes me if they keep being like that is it's going to be like why why even go you know, uh, you know, cause, cause like I said, every time we go, every seem like almost everything goes up. So anyway, check it out later on today. We, we did it. You know, we did get a lot of things. Don't get me wrong, but we had a lot longer list than, than what we got. And I had to get all of it at Walmart. Now Walmart was still out of, I don't know what's going on with facial tissue. Uh, they didn't have it at Aldi and they didn't have they had some at Walmart, but just the super expensive ones. I am not paying, you know, like seven bucks for four things of tissue. I'm not doing that. And they used to be around a buck a piece, you know, and they're dollar fifteen at Aldi. But if they don't have them, what what good does that do you? You know. So I just didn't get any. You know. So I don't know what uh, what we'll do about that because they're they're not cheap anymore at Kroger either. And I know Kroger was going up on stuff. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll have to just depend, like always, at Kroger for digital coupons, uh, paper coupons, and sale items. So, anyway, I could talk about that, that forever. It's, it's a mess. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you later on. God bless.